everybody, today I'm going to share with you this MacBook, early 2009, and let's see how well it holds up here in 2018. Now inside this particular MacBook, we have an Intel Core 2 Duo processor running at 2 GHz, 4 GB of DDR2 memory, which is user upgradable to, I believe, more than 4 gigs. We have a 160 GB traditional hard drive inside, not an SSD as well as NVIDIA GeForce 9400M graphics, which uses 256 megabytes of video memory. So, that's some of the basic specs of this machine. Let's go ahead and take a look around. On the front of the machine, we'll find a notch for opening it up. On the right-hand side, you will find a sleep-wake indicator light, along with a IR receiver. On the left-hand side of the machine, we will find our ports. Moving from left to right, we have our MagSafe connector, first generation, Ethernet, mini DVI video out, FireWire 400, two USB 2.0 ports, audio in, audio out, and a Kensington lock port. On the back of the machine, we can find the hinge, in addition to the stereo speakers on either side. On the right-hand side of the machine, we will find our slot-loading super drive. On the bottom of the machine, we can find our replaceable battery, and when we take it out, we have access to our RAM and hard drive. Opening up the machine, we can find our 13-inch glossy display, in addition to the 480p iSight camera here at the top, with a status light on one side, and I believe a microphone on the other. Taking a look at the bottom of the display, we can find the MacBook logo and the hinge for ventilation. On the upper right-hand corner, we can find the power button, our chiclet style keyboard in the center, and our trackpad here at the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this machine on. Here we go. And I'll wait for the screen to come up. Or uh, the Apple logo that is, and I'll try to focus on it there for you. So it doesn't refocus a hundred times. I'll try to brighten up the display too once it comes up. Anyway, the operating system running on this machine is Mac OS 10.11, that is El Capitan. I can't remember what exact version, if it's 10.11.6, I think. Um, but El Capitan is what is running on this particular machine here, and that's the highest operating system that is uh, usable on this machine. Now you can run even higher versions of macOS with patches and things like that, but El Capitan is the official supported highest operating system by Apple, and I have no desire to go anything above that because uh, I have newer computers that can run the newer operating systems without any problems. So anyway, as you can see here, it's a little slow to start. Obviously, um, it does have a, a spinning hard drive inside of there and a, a, a bigger operating system than it originally shipped with, um, it does have Wi-Fi, and it connects to all modern Wi-Fi networks. I haven't really encountered a Wi-Fi network that um, it, it couldn't work on. So let me go ahead and brighten up the display, because we can't see anything without that. Let me try to focus on something. So let's go ahead and bring up about this Mac here. And it's probably going to think a little bit, so I'll let it do that. There it goes, so let me focus on that. There, that's better. So we are on 10.11.6 El Capitan, and there's the specs that I stated previously. We can see a display, the storage, and the memory. So obviously the internet is a pretty big thing nowadays, and all of the modern web browsers are still supported on this machine without any problems. You can get the latest version of Safari, Firefox, uh, Chrome, even Opera all work on this machine in their up-to-date versions, as of making this video anyway. So we'll go ahead and take a look at Safari. Since they all work the same for um, fastness on this machine anyway for how uh, speedy they are. Of course, everybody has their opinions, but we're just gonna go with this one for right now. So this has YouTube on it, so I guess we'll start there. Now YouTube does play on this machine. Um, I think 720p is about the best that it can do. Sometimes it can do 1080, but 
don't don't try you know 4k or anything i mean the screen isn't even 4k so you're just again wasting your time with something like that so you can scroll through here and you can see it's loading everything just fine no problems there and yeah videos work just fine netflix works fine um twitch works fine things like that um all those streaming uh, you know, video services seem to work just fine on this computer in addition to audio streaming services such as the Spotify down here. Um, we can also go to, which it doesn't look like it's on here, but we can go to Lighting Gallery. And it works just fine. A nice basic website to always go and look at because there's nothing too uh, demanding going on here. And it does support two finger scrolling on the trackpad, so that is how I am scrolling, which is nice. The two finger scrolling is a very nice feature. Obviously, you can use the two fingers to right click as well. So that's internet on this machine. Internet works absolutely fine without any issues. Obviously, again, um, I believe uh, iTunes is up to date on this machine. <clears throat> uh, we have Word and Excel. We can go ahead and open Word here. It might take a little bit for it to come up, however just because of the uh, state of the old hard drive. While it's doing that, maybe we can take a look at some of these applications here. Now all these applications run just fine on this computer. I haven't had any problems with any of them. So Word should be coming up here real soon. It does have Bluetooth as well, if I haven't mentioned that. It's just turned off up here currently. As you can see, there's no battery because I took out the battery since the last uh, scene because uh, I wanted to use it in something else. Um, just an example of how slow older things are. If I put an SSD in it, it'd probably be much faster, but I don't really have any reason to do that. We'll just create a blank document. And it's going to think about it again. And there it came up. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and quit that. And there it goes away. Now, like I said, with these other applications, they do run on here without a problem. Minecraft does. Again, don't set it to like really high settings. You know, average settings seem to work just fine on this machine, to my experience anyway. But all these uh, programs work fine. I have edited videos on it. And it's a pretty decent computer for what it is nowadays. Anyway, overall, it does a pretty good job for, for 2018. And I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And also please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.